a rent to own tiny house on your land. Welcome back to our channel, we're diving into the excitement of relocating a rent to own tiny house to your own land. We'll cover everything you need to know, from the initial inquiries with the seller to the logistics of moving your tiny home. Let's get started. First things first, when you're considering a rent to own tiny house, it's crucial to ask the right questions up front. Here are some key points to discuss with the seller. What are the lease terms? Duration of the lease period. Monthly payments and how much will be credited towards the purchase price. Purchase option. How much is the upfront option fee and how is it applied to the purchase price? What is the final purchase price and are there any conditions affecting it? When it comes to maintenance and repairs. Who is responsible for maintenance and repairs during the lease period? You can ask that question, but it will most likely be you the buyer that is responsible for maintenance and repairs. Make sure you document the condition of the tiny house before and after moving it to your land. What are some legal and zoning issues? Make sure you are in compliance with local zoning laws and building codes. Get all necessary permits for the tiny house and the lot ahead of time. Financial considerations. What is the required down payment and its handling? What is the credit allocation from monthly rent towards the purchase price? Contract details. What type of agreement am I getting into? Is this a lease option or lease purchase? With a lease option, you have the right, but not the obligation, to purchase the property at the end of the lease term. You can decide whether to buy the property based on your circumstances at the end of the lease period. Typically, you pay an option fee up front, which gives you the right to purchase the property later. This fee is usually non-refundable but can be applied to the purchase price if you decide to buy the house. A portion of your monthly rent may be credited towards the purchase price, helping you build equity over time. Lower commitment, if you choose not to buy, you can walk away at the end of the lease term without further obligation, though you may lose the option fee and any rent credits. With a lease purchase, you are legally obligated to buy the property at the end of the lease term. This type of agreement is more binding and requires a stronger commitment from the outset. The purchase price and terms are agreed upon at the beginning of the lease, and you must follow through with the purchase. Similar to a lease option, a portion of your monthly rent may be credited towards the purchase price. The risk is, if you fail to complete the purchase, you could face legal and financial consequences, including losing any option fees and rent credits. Lease option offers flexibility with the choice to buy, while lease purchase requires you to buy the house. Once you've sorted out the initial details, it's time to prepare for relocating your tiny house. Here are the steps you'll need to follow. Site preparation. Ensure your land is ready for the tiny house, including clearing and leveling the site. Check for accessibility for moving trucks and equipment. Permits and regulations. Obtain any necessary permits for moving and placing the tiny house on your land. Sometimes this is done by the moving company. The company selling the house might have their own house moving trucks. Verify compliance with local zoning and building codes. It is better to have an unrestricted place your new tiny house on. Utilities setup. Arrange for utility connections, such as water, electricity and sewage. Consider off-grid options, such as solar, composting toilets and digging a water well. If that is your choice. Foundation and anchoring. Choose the right foundation type for your tiny house, concrete pad, piers, or skids. Ensure proper anchoring to secure the tiny house in place. Now, let's talk about the actual moving process. Here are some tips to make it smooth and stress-free. Hiring professionals. Consider hiring a professional tiny house moving company for safety and efficiency. Get quotes and check reviews to find a reliable mover. Preparing the tiny house. Secure. Tie and strap down all interior items to prevent damage during transport. Disconnect utilities and prepare the exterior for the move. Transporting the tiny house. Follow the mover's instructions and ensure all necessary permits are in place. Accompany the mover to your land to oversee the house placement. Once your tiny house arrives at your land, it's time to set it up and make it home. Positioning and leveling. Work with the movers to position the tiny house correctly. Ensure the house is level and securely anchored. Connecting utilities. Connect to utilities or set up off-grid systems. Test all connections to ensure everything is working properly. Final inspections. Conduct a thorough inspection to ensure the tiny house is in good condition. 
address any issues promptly with the seller in or mover. And there you have it. Relocating a rent to own tiny house to your own land can be a rewarding experience with the right preparation and knowledge. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more affordable housing tips and recommendations. Thanks for watching the Affordable Alternative Housing Solution channel.